The wages question is very interesting because it's the counterpoint of the reduction of costs. In other words, we've had a very efficient economy lowering costs on the supply side, but we haven't had sufficient demand on the other side to buy everything that's produced. Now this is another circular flow, if you like. It's the flow of income and expenditure. And wages have been stagnant or falling for a good number of years, of about 20, 25 years overall. So this makes it really difficult to sell innovation, for example. It makes it difficult to sell new products and services because the competition is so high, so uh, intense, because uh, the chase for the consumer has become, um, become critical for some firms in order for them to survive, let alone make good profits. So that's, that's one side of it. The other side of it is that um, customers can't easily be persuaded to spend more money on something just because it has some, some features that might be favorable to the environment or socially. That, that's become rather segmented, so a lot of um, customers are left out of that option because they just don't have the spending power. Well, if we, if we believe the, uh, the reports of um, workers like the McKinsey Global Institute, three billion new consumers will enter the market in the next 20, 30 years and they will wish to have many of the same things that we enjoy at the moment. So the question is how do we service those, those requirements with a resource base which is under pressure? But of course then <laughs> the counterpoint to that is that perhaps if we don't get towards something like a circular economy we won't have any hope of uh, even getting half or somewhere like that, half of these, uh, these new consumers up to the middle class level. So, their expectations are both important but also a limiting factor. Mm -hmm.